And we begin tonight with the arrest of a Republican candidate in New Mexico running for the state house. He lost in a landslide, but authorities say he did not accept the loss. He said it was rigged. And tonight, after SWAT teams moved in, he's now charged. They say he hired four hitmen to open fire on the homes of four Democratic lawmakers, terrorizing Albuquerque, New Mexico, for weeks. Bullets right into homes and into the bedroom of a 10-year-old girl. Solomon Pena was arrested at his home in Albuquerque after SWAT teams moved in there. And tonight, this surveillance video right here, police say capturing him not long after his election loss, showing up at a home looking for one of his alleged targets. And authorities say it got much worse from there, allegedly hiring those four men and how they caught them. ABC's Mola Lenghi leading us off from Albuquerque tonight. Tonight, authorities say the man approaching this front door is a Republican who lost his election in New Mexico in a landslide, showing up at the homes of state and county Democratic leaders after the election, angry and falsely claiming the election was somehow rigged. Hi, my name is Solomon Pena. Police say 39-year-old Solomon Pena arrived at this home looking for one of his alleged targets. Police say over the course of four weeks, four homes were sprayed with bullets. In one home, blasting right through a state lawmaker's 10-year-old daughter's bedroom. All of these homes where Democrats lived. Police say Pena hired hitmen to take aim at the homes and that Pena fired at one of them himself. Tonight, Pena is under arrest. Police and SWAT teams moving in 24 hours ago in Albuquerque. Officials saying the failed Republican politician was an election denier who police say hired those four hitmen paying them with cash and providing them with weapons. These shootings were orchestrated. They were dangerous attacks, not only to these individuals, but fundamentally also to democracy. The targets, two state legislators and two county commissioners. Officials say the plot was fueled by Pena's anger over his loss for that state house seat. He'd reportedly been in state prison for seven years for burglary, a judge allowing him to run for office. He had complaints about his election. He felt it was rigged. He's an election denier. He doesn't want to accept the results of the election. The first shooting was on December 4th, when authorities say County Commissioner Adrian Barboa's home was struck repeatedly by gunfire, my telling us today... My home was shot up for shots directly through my front door, right through my living room where I had just few hours before I've been playing with my grandbaby. Authorities say fortunately no one was injured in any of the shootings. The arrest warrant revealing that just hours after the final shooting on January 3rd, police cracked the case wide open when one of Pena's alleged hitmen was pulled over for an expired registration. Police say they found cash, guns and drugs in that car and it was registered to Pena. At the end of the day, this was about a right wing radical an election denier who did the worst imaginable thing you can do when you have a political disagreement, which has turned that to violence. Well, these shootings happening just weeks after the attack on former Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband. The FBI recently warning that violent threats against public officials are on the rise nationwide. Now, David, we should stress that the county commissioner here telling me today that there were no signs of any election fraud or irregularities here, that Mr. Pena lost his election Fair and square, David. Just a wild and alarming story. Mola Lenghi leading us off here. Mola, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.